Are you insane? You brought her here? The only reason we're not messily dead is because she couldn't get to us. Yeah, she's a real threat, all unconscious and drooling. Oh yeah, well she won't be unconscious forever, lab rat. How did you even get her here? Everything went just like Jeep said it would. They cleared away the dirt around the stone seal at the base of the pit. And then she went down, got all chanty, and this weird light cracked right through the center of the seal, and then she weebled and wobbled and dropped. With a little help from a high voltage stun gun. What about Danny and the Corvigoons? How did they not even see you take her? Well, you'd be amazed what you can accomplish with a few elephant tranks. Okay, okay, I very much get that this was not plan A or even plan Z, but it looks like JP was right. And now that we have her, shouldn't we at least try the exorcism? I mean, what else are we gonna do? Mail her to Siberia? Nope, it's too late for that. We need to kill her. No. We can't kill Perry. Well, we can give her the old college try. Oh, you know, it's been a while for me, but I'm pretty sure it's just like riding a really violent bicycle. I won't let you. Who said anything about let? Harm, no. Ugh, then get her out of here! We have to get her out of here! Throw her into the volcano! Feed her to the space whale! I am not giving up on Perry! We have to try! Fine. You know, I'd say we'd regret this, but I don't think any of us are gonna live long enough for that. Are you sure this is gonna contain her? As long as no one breaks the circle, and it won't have to hold her for long. The ritual JP sent us is supposed to be performed at midnight, which gives us about three hours. And then we're handing the dean an eviction notice. So I guess there's nothing to do now except wait for midnight. Why don't you take first shift? Hey, Pear. Been a while, huh? And you're kind of running with a new crowd these days. Just wanted to say I'm sorry, you know? That I got so caught up in my stuff, I didn't see what was happening to you. And I know it wasn't just last year that we'd been growing apart for a while, what with my conspiracy, the weird kick, and you just wanting everything to be nice. Mostly, I'm sorry I treated you like wanting things to be nice with small. Because I know that's what it's like in there. It's this thing in your head telling you that you're weak, that you're small. But don't believe it, okay? That's, that's just a story it tells you. Tell yourself a different story. Because you're not small, okay? You're the biggest thing in my world. I'm getting you back. Wakey, wakey. Time to rise and get the hell out of my friend. We're of... having an exorcism and you're uninvited, Laura? Anabiti sa irabusu mulki. Oh, please. As if a splash of holy oil and that scrap of a ritual could... <laughs> Anabiti sa irabusu mulki. The minute I am out of this circle, little girl, I'm gonna turn you inside out. And I am not gonna be quick about it. <laughs> You'll be defeated by some empty-headed, whinging little... Anabiti sa irabusu mulki. <laughs> Is that you? I, I can't.
can't see. Help me. Yeah, it's okay. We're here. Uh, if that's really Perry, she can do it on her own. Carm. No, no, it's okay. Because all she has to do is lift one little finger over the circle, right? Right? Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice try, Mother. <laughs>